Hello, and welcome to a Thursday edition of Robert vs. the New York Times Crossword. It is currently 9.59pm on Wednesday, August 18th in New York City. The, uh, the start of the school year looms closer and closer these days, but uh, taking a peek at yesterday's leaderboard, I did manage to hang on to first at 15 seconds. Then we had the old stalwart PB Gechner right behind. Bit of a gap to stickers. Then we had uh, Aerotangos, Hoopla, The Glorp, Murray Unicorn, KFS Venta, Oriwana, Andrew Co Cowboy Hat Emoji, and Joe Obi dipping under one minute. Then we had A plus B, TR, Antaro Tuna, Chenny, Cape God, Jaywoo, Namgo, Lydian, Lil Sun, Mheat17, who I think is gallivanting around Europe, shout out to you, Panda Doggy, E. Errol, J, ABC104, and Doctor to Nomad. Cool. Well, it is now 10 o'clock in New York City, meaning we should have some Thursday crosswords. So here is a spoiler alert for the Thursday mini. If you would like to play along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. The mini is always free to play. All right, let's do it. Busy, IU, uh, use up, stan, yard, pause. There we go. Busy, ah, orakieti. It's like little ears, right? I've never heard a trophy though. A year for once every 365 days. Yeah, sure. Like, uh, actually, can is that synonymous? It happens. Hmm. <laughs> and wound up and sup. What is a phrase in which a year is? can be replaced with once every 365 days. Oh, like I make, make one trip home a year? Something like that? I should go home. <laughs> anyway, uh, now for the main event, that's the Thursday Daily Grid, which is by Oliver Roeder today. Here is a spoiler alert. If you would like to play along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. The Daily Grid does require a New York Times game subscription. All right, let's get into it. A vaping device, that's an e-cig. The eye of raw, is it? Dog eat dog. Turkish inns, ooh, I don't know that, in large numbers. Blank Roy, Patriarch on Succession, flat screen op option for short. LCD, rival of Hoover. Facial feature name for an animal. Operatic daughter of the King Amon Asro, world capital on the island of New Providence. I don't know it. Successfully solic solicit with up. Blues Org is the NHL. 1970 John Wayne film. Sworn and It's Possible. Not sure. This seems like it'll be Yuma. Where Dalmatia is. Uh, somewhere in the Balkans, right? Don't know this NPR person. Stand in for the unnamed. Uh, uh, you don't. Hmm. Monopoly cards. Beads. Buffalo Bill's surname. Don't know. Walked. Is it trod? Uh, that seems like it'll be cutthroat with something happening. Right. This is Emirates. Uh. Not sure. It has a cedar tree on its flag. I think maybe no, this is Lebanon. <laughs> World's highest paid actor in 2021, familiarly. The Rock? I'm not sure. 2007 Nobel Peace Prize winner. Brand of taco kits and sauces, Ortega. Mobile homes of a sort, and castle defenses. Ah, it's moats, right? So this one is cutthroat. Uh, this is et al. and galore. Okay, so we have oat. I wonder if there'll be other kinds of grains. Right. Bargain, but abbreviation. Hurry stray. A dogie. Chicago conveyances are L's. I don't know this this person. NYC babe near NY or nave near NYU. Soho. Uh, life preserver or a hint to six six squares in this puzzle. Alpha Romeo. Misbehaved, repulsive. This is four? Maybe not. Shot, spot of espresso. 
cafe. Maybe starting lineup. Is it A team? Excludes is omits. Italian home to the Basilica of St. Nicholas. Not sure. Dispirit without. Bum out maybe? Extraneous computer programs. Ah, this is bloatware. Let's put an oat there. Part of a place setting. Rapper cool something D. <laughs> That's out of my wheelhouse. Heraldic symbol. Noted Venetian bridge. Separate seed, separate seed from. Is it thresh? Is that what it means to thresh? Pose could be ask. That is thresh. The I, this is est. I'm trying to figure out what these are. Uh, loathsome, there's a... Actually, is there not, there's not an E in loathsome? <laughs> Acted up here. Amanda Pete snickered. Blank Jones. Doug Jones. And that's got uh, fortune. Um, no. Okay. Coat of armor. Coat of arms, rather. Begins to get exciting. Heats up, maybe? It's not a good look. An ogle. Uh, cereal. Box. Ah, uh, okay. This is Gen X. Maybe it's NoHo, north of Houston. This could be Nassau, the Bahamas. Um, oh, Al Gore here. Something could can be so or something. Oof. Okay. Let's keep plying our way through this part. Be perfectly sized. Suit to a T. Fit to suit to a T. It's like this, right? But I don't know. I would say suit, but it doesn't seem right. Home to the Golden Pavilion, known as Kinkakuji. I guess I might be Kyoto. This could be rhythm. Polo on TV. Is it Terry? Best ever. The goat. The greatest of all time. Uh, National Book Award winner for them. Not sure. Fresh blood. This could be Ohio, I guess. Works hard old style. Higher E and oats here. Moils, maybe? Ooh, gosh. It's gonna be a rough cross. Planted, sown. Org known for counting backward. NASA here. They're used in a crunch, abs. Some creatures in the ocean's midnight zone. Mobile home? Question mark. Oh, crib. Uh, utensil. Rialto. Mealies at once. And eels. Okay. Uh, oh, maybe to just fit to a T. Bari? Bogle? So that's speculative. Okay, so I need three more oats somewhere. Um, Croatia. That's good. This is Aida. Rival of Hoover. Auric, like the vacuum. End is Cease and Goatee. Logan Roy. So there's gotta be an oat somewhere in this northeast, right? House Boats. I see. There's the last oat, so we've got all the oats now. Ereg here. Bargain bin. Is it the Lobo? I don't know. Uh, sworn. Under oath. Can be so? Hmm. Yikes. Maybe so is probably better than can be so. Anna? Uh, let's be drum up. So what is the blues here? I thought it was the, uh, the hockey team. Gosh, so many bad crosses for me. Yikes. Yeah, this is, uh... Is it Red Lobo? Lena? Lena? 
So yeah, there's two proper nouns here crossing a movie that I don't know. And this is it. So it's not DEA. What else could be blues? Ooh, I see. Okay. DNC for Democrats. Buffalo Bill Cody. Rio Lobo. Wow. Yikes. Jeez, that's, uh... This is pretty dicey over here. Nina Totenberg. Buffalo Bill Cody crossing Rio Lobo. And a tricky clue on DNC, which is... Also kind of like, yeah, that's rough if you're not familiar with, I wonder what, uh, I wonder what program Nina Tot Totenberg is on, sorry, Totenberg, Correspondent Legal Affairs, so you have to be listening to the news, I guess, she went to Scarsdale High, she's a New Yorker. I, I don't know about this. I don't know about this corner. The Buffalo Bill Cody does sound familiar, but Nina Cody crossing Rio Lobo with DNC be, be include roughly, cleverly, whatever. That that that's that's a rough corner. Let me know if you got stuck on that corner, if or if you knew who Nina Totenberg and Buffalo Bill Cody were and found the corner fine. I would say that that's too many proper nouns, <laughs> all in the same place. And the problem is that, uh, like, lots of names end in N-A, right? Like Anna, Nina, Lena, Lana, Tina, <laughs> um, Mona, Nona, like... And then surnames could basically be anything. And Rio Lobo. You know, John Wynn was in a lot of films. Almost none of which I've seen. <laughs> True Grit I've at least heard of, although that was remade, right? I don't know. In, in my opinion, this, this is not really a fair corner, but... I mean, th these, like, these six letters took me, I don't know, like three minutes. And the whole rest of the puzzle took me like eight, eight minutes. So that's uh, that's pretty rough. Yeah, a bit, a bit too much, a bit too proper noun heavy. I would say this whole puzzle actually, because Logan, R Yuma, Croatia is a proper noun, but that's a proper noun that at least you can figure out. Leb isn't great either, to be honest. So you need to know flags, <laughs> cedars of Lebanon. Ortega is a proper noun. Ureg. Alfa Romeo is a proper noun. It's like not like uh, necessarily the easiest car brand to know. Rialto. Kyoto is fair. Is Doug Jones there. Amanda Peet. <laughs> and then Moyles. Gosh. It's an archaic dialect. Often in the phrase toil and moil. Not a phrase I've ever heard before. Um, I haven't even talked about the theme. Or Auric is a proper noun. <laughs> so is Aida. Yeah, Dogi is like a stray, stray calf. Tom Waits, David Carr, there's another proper noun. Barry is is apparently a city in Italy that I've never heard of. It has a population of 324,000. So, I wouldn't call it a major city either. Of, co of course, there's always going to be proper nouns in a poem. Cool Modi. Um, Robert Fogel. Terry Polo. And then Oats here. <laughs> so there's always going to be proper nouns. And in fact, proper nouns are a good thing. But if they're not like super household names, they need to be crossed fairly. That's the thing, right? 
like The Rock and Al Gore are on a different level than Robert Fogel and uh, Nina Totenberg and them. Wh which oats is this? <laughs> By Joyce Carol Oats. Okay. Yeah, but, and cool Modi. Um, yeah, the theme, I actually like the theme. Cereal box, he squeezed oat as a rebus into six spots. I think it would be interesting if there were actually other cereals too, other than just oat. I don't know. Wheat, corn. What, what counts as a cereal, actually? A grain. <laughs> Any grass cultivated for the edible components of its grain. So let's look at some grain crops. Yeah, corn, millet, oats, rice, rye. I, I actually think it would have been nice to have a non-repeating rebus, but I, I tend to like rebus puzzles, but yeah, to me, the, the proper nouns in this are, are not necessarily crossed fairly, especially in this section over here. And there's a lot of, in my opinion, non-household name proper nouns in this one, which strikes me as just a little bit loathsome. <laughs> but uh, let me know what you thought. Maybe I'm just, you know, I've been living in a cave and I, I don't know all of these people that I should know. But, I mean, these six squares took just forever. I'll probably, in fact, fast forward through that process. Um, yeah. Anyway, that'll be slow for a Thursday, but... Yeah. Above my average, even. Um, it did have a rebus, so that tends to slow things down. Leaderboard for tomorrow. We already have stickers on the leaderboard. And on the old secret leaderboard, we have Andrew Cowboyhead Emoji, Cape God, and Joe Obi. So since it took me a while today, I guess more people have done it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I will see you tomorrow for some Friday puzzles. See you then.